going to create multiple pages like first i'm going to create a home home page and second about about page okay so for the routing example i'm going to create like this and the third one is um profile page like i said right so profile page so what are the user uh, what are the user name positive in, uh, in their router uh, that thing we need to retrieve the data and we need to visualize uh, from this profile.js file so let's start creating a functional component for all the things react create functional component and export it home pretend and react create functional component export it name it as about and profile react create functional and component export name it as profile right so we have uh, three components uh, which means the three different pages so for that i'm going to uh, use these two pages for the name uh, for the navigation uh, but this profile.js is not a uh, this profile profile.js uh, maybe we can add uh, in the navigation or we can directly call it so before going to implement react router we need to install the particular package so, so this is the actual uh, npm command to install the react router and go back to application clear it stop the survey and put it here so by this way you need to install the third party packages npm install the react router dom so this is what we are going to uh, use this package for uh, to navigate from one page to another page so we added the package uh, we can see the package installations in the package or json file you can see react router dom uh, the latest version is available 6.3.0 which was we are installed uh, for our application Okay, fine. So after that, uh, restart the application. Meanwhile, the time go back to the documentation. So in this documentation, uh, we are going to use React Router for web. So for the basic implementation, uh, what we need to do is we need to use browser router and switch and route. So these are the three different things we need to use, right? Go back to the browser. Uh, go back to our application. So here, import. The different things from react router dom right so inside that we need to uh, import browser router uh, first we see browser router after that i will show hash router so import router as a router right and uh, after that we need a switch uh, routes i think this is the latest update yeah routes and inside that we need to use root so these are the three parameters uh, we need uh, to integrate the things so remove everything and do we need uh, we need the parent right so class name to app can do this like and after that we need to define router here mm, router and inside the route router we need to define the routes so this route will collect all the routes and inside the routes we need to define route okay. so we have the route and inside that we have the different uh, props we have right well, how, what we seen in the slide like we have a link we have a um, we have a, this kind of parameters like params exact path url so everything you can see here path uh, key index elements so everything we can see here so first path so if the path is slash which means empty uh, it will it will denote it as a home page right so if the path slash uh, exact the path actually this is index and uh, index means this is the first route like that we need to say and after that if that is a path is slash then we need to uh, point it into the home page right so the have home page we have created this one right so save it and copy paste it and remove the index from everything so index should be uh, only home page not for all and the next one is about us page so for that we need to import about component and we need to mention slash about and copy this and put it here and for the dynamic routing we need to use a profile and after that slash put colon and here we may, we may mention name so if you do like this uh, it will take the dynamic variable for the particular component right so remove the about and we need to import a profile and yep so always CSS files bottom in the import section. 
So save it. So uh, everything we did, we done. Go back to the browser, and I think some what's the problem here? Functions are not available in React. This may happen. Component router. Okay. So we have the element right. So instead of actual function, you need to use as a tag. Like this, we need to use. Save it. Go back. Yep. It's working fine now. So we, currently we are in the home page. If you want to go profile, sorry, what's that? Uh, about that, it will go. It will show about. If you want to move, uh, what's that? Profile slash uh, just a profile, then it show no routes match location. Why? Because we are creating profile slash the dynamic variable. So we need to send any of the things. We can say simply uh, dummy text, or we can say John. So like that, we can call the particular component. By this way, we can uh, send the dynamic values. So by this way, uh, we need to integrate the dynamic uh, things, dynamic route path. Okay. So, uh, but currently we can access through the router. But uh, in the real world scenario, we need to uh, we have the separate navigation. We need to click that, and it should be re redirected. That's the actual use case. So for that, what we need to do, we need to create another component, uh, like the components. And inside the components, you can create a navigation, navigation.js. So uh, I'm I'm a fan of functional component. That's what I'm keep creating a functional component. Uh, if you want to create a class component, then definitely you can go. There is no restriction on that. So React create functional component, export it, name it as navigation. Right. So in this navigation, uh, we need to uh, we need to use a div class name. Navigation, whatever the class you want, you can add. And inside that, uh, we need to use uh, some of the links, right? So import from React to DOM, right? From there only, we need to import link. If you want link, we can go. If you want nav link, we can go. So this is the navigation. So that's what I'm picking the navigation link. So put the navigation link here and as a tag. And inside that, we have the couple of things, right? So two, two is nothing but a hatchet of whatever we are using the uh, anchor tags. So that's the thing. So two, uh, if two is empty, right? It should be label So we can mention as home and copy it, paste it for three pages. About, about, and this will be profile slash profile for a hard code here, but uh, I will do after some time uh, in the dynamic uses things. So save it, uh, go back, copy the navigation, and put it here. But because the navigation is common for all the pages, so that's what we are added here. If you want to the customized navigation for each page, then you can obviously add. This particular navigation component for each component. Save it. Go back. Uh, navigation is not defined. Yeah, no problem. Import it. Move it to the top layer. Copy and come back. So here, um, use location may be used in the context of router component. May be used only in the context of router. Okay, we need to uh, put navigation inside the router. That's the problem. Yep. The router there. Refresh the page. Yep. That is no problem. Uh, actually, why the navigation should uh, should present inside the router is we are going to do navigation. Uh, but if you are put this navigation component out of the router, then obviously, obviously it can't uh, recognize the nav link uh, property. So if you want to perform navigation link or link that should be present inside the router. So we can't give, we can't put navigation out of the router. So that's what the error actually happened in the console. So move it to in the router side. So save it, go back and refresh the page uh, for the small CSS. We can add navigations um, and say the anchor tags. We can margin, right, 20 pixels. So like that we can do for the time being. So copy this and here navigation.css, put it here, save it and in the navigation. 
ask import dot slash navigation dot css save it go back refresh the page so now see we are in the home page by defaultly or because we have uh, we added the route path is equal to empty so if we click about it will go to the about page and here we can see the about content and by that way it doesn't reload so if you go to the profile it will go to the actual profile it doesn't refresh anything so by this way you can perform the actual navigation so you can design accordingly uh, with the help of css but the actual uh, router uh, router dom is implemented with a small uh, with a basic implementation we did and also we did as a dynamic router but still we need to uh, do extra things